Hey guys, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So it's finally here. I finally got my November um, release design team package today. I just barely got home from an appointment and checked the mail and it was here. I've been anxiously waiting. There was a mix up and mine didn't get sent out. So today's November 1st. It's already released and I just got it. So I have no examples, I'm sorry, to share with you yet, but I will get right on this and start working on some stuff for you guys. Um, I do have a couple of things to share from you, share with you that um, for a couple of the last eyes that I miss out on um, that I just got in the mail. So I've done a couple of things with that. I'll share with that with you. Maybe I'll do that first real quick. Um, I think I think I already shared this one, the 3D pumpkin shaker bag. Um, I think I already shared that one. I know I did an Instagram reel, but um, if I didn't share on um, YouTube, and here's a quick little look. It's a, I made the front of shaker. I didn't put the face in the front on the sh on the pumpkin. I made the face cut out of a with a circle and use it like as a tag. And I just attached it here with a clip on the side. This is a good size bag. You can hold a lot of stuff. And I just attached some uh, wired ribbon on top for my handle instead of a, <clears throat> a paper handle. But I think it turned out really cute. Again, using the um, Scrap Diva Designs uh, very first um, paper collection she just came out with, Bootiful Night. And it's so cute. So I quickly put that together and used the paper. And then I also did two more little things with um, this die, which is the small door tag. So on this one, I just made a cute little um, tag, just layered it up with some of the uh, paper that she has. And then I used the stamp set from last month, I think. Yeah. Anyway, it's the stamp set and it has the, um, maybe it was a week, maybe it was a month before. I can't remember. But anyway, and the, the stamp and die set. So I cut out Spooky Wishes, stamped that there and just, so that was just a cute little, you know, little tag. And then I also put together the large one, door tag large. And that one I did a little bit different. That one I decided to make a little mini album out of it. <clears throat> so... Um, I just made a bunch of flat ones, you know, just this piece together. I didn't put it, you know, glue it to anything. I just put them together. I figured the little flap that I would normally uh, fold and glue, um, I just punched my uh, two holes in it to make my little tags. And so I used the collection again, the Beautiful Night. This is so gorgeous. You guys are going to want, want, want this in your, in your um, stash. Even if you're not going to do any more Halloween this year, you're going to want it for the future. <laughs> it's beautiful. Double-sided papers, ephemera, foam stickers, chipboard. Very cute. So anyway, I just have it. I'm, I'm making this a mini album. So here I did just half of the tag, cut it and cut out a star and put a picture there. Here's the hocus poke, part of the hocus pocus from the Halloween word set. So I just cut a circle out. So it's it's very minimally decorated again because I'm going to uh, make this an album. So I'm going to get some tiny pictures uh, printed out. Things are not only glued on the bottom so I can still stick my picture down here. This one, I cut the tag again and just cut off half so I can make a little pocket. And then I um, just stuck one of the tags from the, from the paper collection down in there. And... A little photo spot here again this is open so I can tuck <clears throat> picture down inside there once once I get my pictures ready okay this is such a beautiful set again I've used part I have like these little pieces of that spider web <coughs> um, excuse me die set from uh, September it's so cute and I just like on this one I just tacked it right here along the edge so it's all open so again I can put a picture in there I've got a tag in there for right now <clears throat> see and then there's another tag I just punched holes in that left that there here's this one here's my photo mat and then um, a little bow I'd made 
another one of this half pocket. Here's the pocus. <laughs> pocus and pocus on two different pages. A little star. Stick in there. Here's a cute little um, uh, circle photo mat. This is the uh, bat bow from last year from Scrap Diva. Um, this collection has a tiny little bit of light purple in it. So I love that. And then this is just a decorative piece I had in my stash already. Put some binder rings on it and tie some tulle and I think it turned out really pretty. So that are two things that I did with the last couple dies that I received from last month. Okay, and now in this package, I did get one more die that I didn't get last month, which was this pretty um, fantasy flower, which I love the looks of it. I've been seeing everybody create with it and I loved it. So um, I asked Erica if she could send me this one this time. So she added this into this month's package, even though it was released um, last month. So I'll be using that this month. Okay. Now, current die set for November. So many cute things. This one, I know it's hard to tell what it is, but it's called the Gingerbread Purse Gift Box. I've seen some cute things already from the design team members. So, very cute. Can't wait to play with that one. We have the Gingerbread Postage Stamps. I'm going to keep my hands on here probably most of the time so I... I don't have a sticker on the front of these either to, um, you know, for um, purposes of not being able to copy and stuff like that. Um, so this is very cute. You got two pieces of two of the big gingerbread and two of the little gingerbread um, stamps and then a single of each, the big and the small. And all those little dots so you could stitch. You can layer it and the other layer shows through. It's very cute. So there was one before with, um, seems like it was, what was it? Hearts or something, I think. So very cute. So we got that one. <clears throat> Next one we have is called Picture Frame Memory Decks. So we got another Memory Decks card that is made with, it looks like a picture frame. Look how cute that is. And then it's got some little pieces to go with it. Um, a little house and then like the snow to go around the house and then this little uh, it's like snow to like go around the door you got a little tree to go with it and you get the word with the sh with the shadow it says let it snow so cute and then if you notice on back there's these little you can make like snow layers of snow on your card or if you do it on a, you can also do this for any you can put layer a layer of green for like grass for a spring project or you know, a lay, you know, black for if you wanted to use it for Halloween. So, don't just think this is Christmas. So, because it could be anything. All right, so there we go. This is just gorgeous. It's called the Gingerbread Bow Set. I've seen so many cute ones with this too. So cute. So you get the this plate. Um, there's like I think there's like three layers for each piece. Um, so you got you got um, this uh, kind of what do you call it scalloped edge okay you have um, the what you call it <laughs> you have the this with the stars God, I can't talk today and this one is gonna cut out this one is actually just the um, the scallop layer right here but this one the scallop layer is going to cut out this edge so it'll be like a gingerbread and so the, like, this will be the frosting outline and you're going to have that for the the tails too okay and you have two kinds of tails you can do the straight tail you can do the curved tail okay so beautiful 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 <clears throat> I love this one. It's called Candy Cane Gift Box. So, all the pieces you need to put together a cute little candy box there. I've seen a couple videos already of other design team members, what they've made, and it's super cute. So, can't wait to play with that one. Next up, we have this one, which is called Christmas Bag Topper. It comes with two different sizes. This is a small on the front. 
So uh, you put these two together. Here's your uh, sleigh and reindeer. And then here's your layering sleigh and reindeer to layer on top. This is the for the, uh, you know, like the reins that go across the, um, the deer. And then this is a look at the bigger size right here. So cute. So we got that one. And then we have Thanksgiving words. Okay, so we got... Let me see if I can read backwards. Okay, hang on a second. Let me let me um, pull these up where I can see them better. <laughs> so we have give thanks. We have um, oh. Uh, something hugs uh, warm hugs we have blessings we have autumn we have hello fall we have Thanksgiving and we have thankful for you okay there we go so there's one two three four five six seven different um, <clears throat> sentiments and they do have an outline and the outline is stitched. So pretty. It'll be a must have. Next up, we have the coffee mug gift pouch. This is adorable also, seen lots of creative things with this one already. So you get this big mug. Um, this is gonna be like the layer up here on the top of the mug that like you can put like I don't know, it depends on what you want to make it, like, um, uh, you know, like, what do you call it, like snow, snow, or you could make it, um, you know, like, I don't know, just a trim, I don't know. <laughs> okay, and then here in, and then you get um, these flowers come with it, and here's some, <clears throat> looks like eyeballs. And this could be a nose because back here <clears throat> we have this. So here's the pocket and this you can cut out and make the, uh, this makes the face. But I've also seen people use it and just cover up the face so you don't have the face. So, but, so think of this for not just, um, you know, like winter and Christmas, but also Halloween, um, could be like for you know pumpkin spice or you know and and you can put a mix you know like a chocolate hot chocolate mix and that kind of stuff behind it so very cute love that seen some very cute um, examples with that already then we have apron mini album this is adorable <clears throat> so here's the um the size of the mini album <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> so we got the outline, we got the layering piece with the stitching, and then the more um, defined piece of the dress. You also get a little dress that you can use for like a tag, or you know, if you wanted to add it on here somewhere. You get a bunch of different bows and layering pieces for the bows. Um, you also, it also has the different um, layers, a rolling pin. This square will cut out a piece so you can like put a saying in here or a different color if you want on the on the rolling pin <clears throat> and then we got some aprons different um, looks of the apron so cute that's gonna be fun to play with we got there's so many cute um, <coughs> cooking theme papers and stuff out there right now it's really cute <clears throat> okay Christmas rosettes very cute three different ones we have they all have this like double layer of these kind of like a triangle here this one's kind of zigzagged along this one's zigzagged along so it looks like these two here are the same just you know uh, this one's wider for a bigger one if you want but you can always cut it down to whatever size you want it and then this one it's got the two uh, lines of triangles and then it's kind of a I'm just kind of a 
I can't tell what the, what to call it. Kind of just kind of a decorative little three point type thing, like a top of a star maybe or something on the edge there. And so then it gives you like a little space in between. So that's cute. <coughs> Excuse me, I hope I'm not getting sick. Um, then we have oven mitt set. So very cute. Three different sizes of the oven mitt. Okay. Um, so you get your your mitt. Now these can also could also be used as gloves, just for plain gloves, for just like a winter themed album if you want. You get this plate that's going to emboss this um, you know checked pattern into your thing, so you can use that or not. <clears throat> and then with each of them, you get um, the different set of hearts. Um, you get this layering piece. You get um, the, the sized, appropriate sized bows for each one. So there's three sets of bows. And then these are the three little, um, like you probably use it for like up here at the trip, you know, up the, along the, along one of the edges for another layer. Very cute. And then we have Santa Boot Mini Album. This is so cute. I've seen lots of cute boxes made out of this. So you got your Santa Boot. And it comes, so this is going to be your layering piece up here for the top of the boot. This piece is part, um, like the belt, and then here's the buckle. <clears throat> you get these flowers that come with it. You get this set, uh, set of leaves, like um, pine tree leaves. And then this set of four little bells. So that's really cute how that all comes with it too. <clears throat> and then we get the gingerbread girl bag topper. You get two different sizes in the, in the set. Here's the small. So you got your hat line piece that's part of the, the topper. And then we got the stitched layer and the inside layer. And then we have all these little pieces to decorate. We got flowers. <clears throat> faces, um, a little dress, a little trim for the dress, uh, the little icing layers for the, for the girl, here's a bow for the hair, this I think is hair, okay, and then you get the same thing again in the, um, in the bigger size. So cute, very, very cute. Okay, and then next up we have Baking Spirits Bright, this is a really cute sentiment, again, super great to use with any kind of baking thing uh, projects you're doing too and it comes with this little rolling pin which is separate so you can use that on other things too and it has a heart cut out of it so very cute so we got the outside layer stitched layer and then the actual words and it looks like <clears throat> the words cut out in the whole word so you'll get three you know three separate words <coughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I am getting sick. So, anyway. So, anyway. Just wanted to point out that they're not individual letters. You got a piece back in. So, I much prefer the words to all be connected. <laughs> so, you got the three words that are... The, the words are, are separate, but the, all the letters are connected. So, you could always cut out a word and be able to use it on something else also. <clears throat> just baking or bright. So... That's always nice. Okay, so this month there was 14 die sets and there's also two stamp sets <clears throat> in this release. So we got this cute, cute, cute little gingerbread themed. We got Sweet Christmas Wishes, Mrs. Claus Gingerbread Bakery, North Pole Gingerbread Baking Co, Gingerbread Kisses, Christmas Wishes. Baking Spirits Bright, Always Fresh Gingerbread Bakery, so cute, so, so cute. And um, if you're not aware, Erica now has all her stamps are photopolymer, so uh, much better quality stamps. They stamp great. I've been using them a lot lately. I've kind of gotten back into stamping. I did it, <clears throat> I mostly stamped years ago when I first started card making and stuff. Um, 
but then I got into <laughs> more die cutting and I haven't been doing hardly any stamping. So kind of excited to be using stamps again. <clears throat> and the next set is this one. Let's see, what is it called? Christmas stamp and die set too. So this one actually has the dies too, which I always love, always love. You can do so much more with it when you have the the dies that cut them all out. So you got the Christmas tree and the boy gingerbread, girl gingerbread, Merry Christmas, stocking, <coughs> like a decorated sugar cookie star, and then some little bulbs and some little bows. So super cute. So these are going to be super fun to work with. Again, I'm sorry I don't have any design team um, projects to share with you yet, but know that I will. Like I said, I just got home, checked the mail. It was there. I ran inside, unboxed it <laughs> so I could do the video real quick and get started on these for you guys. Um, the can, you can find all these here. They're available right now, November 1st. This is the Scrap Diva website. Here is all the social media that Erica has. Um, feel free to use my coupon code, which is Polka10, P-O-L-K-A-10. That'll um, save you 10% uh, off your order. Um, also, new, something new. You're going to want to sign up for the monthly newsletters. They're not only is there inspiration, but she's starting to do a monthly giveaway for the customers also. So you're going to want to get it on that, okay? <clears throat> so make sure you sign up for the monthly newsletter. If you guys have any questions about anything, um, I didn't do measurements or anything, but you know, if you need any of those, feel free to ask me, um, and I will get on creating some things so I can get some um, samples out to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.